Okay, so what I'm going to try and do now is to make some kind of bracket or brace to stop this transmission case, gearbox case, from snapping up when you accelerate and obviously back down when you decelerate or brake. Um, yeah, I'm not too keen on that. I don't think it helps the handling. So what we need to do is somehow hold this steady in the centre but still allowing a bit of sideways movement. That's the plan anyway, so I need to get some kind of bracket in here. And what we're going to do is try and hold the centre of this um, pivot bar in a single position in the middle. But it's a bit difficult to work out how to get the, the shape of this bracket right with the transmission all in place. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get a sharpie and I'm going to mark the centre of that bar like so. And then what I'm going to do is take this off but leave the bar in place and then hopefully there's a bit of room and I can see how to hold that to securely in place. So just need to take this off. I've already taken the screws out. There we go. We'll take the bar out. There's my mark for the centre. And then hopefully just put it back into place and I've just got the bar that I can work with then. Go in there. Okay, so now I've got plenty of room. I can see where I can make a plate that's going to bolt onto the end of the battery case there and then hold that in place. So I'm just going to have a go at making a, a cardboard mock up bracket. So I'm going to get a bit of a template and see you in a minute. Right, so I've um, got an angled piece of cardboard. I've got roughly the right shape now, it kind of fits in on the chassis, the back of the battery holder um, and it's holding the bar in a central position but still allowing it to move from left to right so that's roughly the position I need I just now need to shape this so that it fits and fits into this gap here I might need to enlarge this a little bit I'll try not to but we'll just see how we go so now I'm going to try and fashion this into some kind of um, shape okay then so this is roughly the shape of the bracket that I've made I have my bit of cardboard um, it's like a little arm with uh, a C cup which will hold the bar in there doesn't look much but obviously if, it, if this works I'll need to replicate this in some kind of metal I'm not sure whether to use aluminium or steel yet, I think I might need to use steel because of it being so narrow but let's just see if it fits first so if I can just get that in there not in the centre that looks like it might do the job let's just see, I know it's very flimsy but it is holding it central and it's allowing it to move from side to side so I'm quite happy with that shape so I'm going to try and make it out of some kind of metal okay so I've had a look around in the shed and I found these old brackets that were lying around um, they've got the 90 degree bending which I need they've got a few holes in I know but what I've looked at is that um, this might actually help me save me a bit of fabricating so I've got my template and placed it around the 90 degree bend there and I've drawn around it, that will nicely hold the um, the pivot in that slot and I just need to cut around where I've marked and hopefully a bit of trial and error we might be able to get that to fit in the right place so I'm going to get cutting OK, so I've just finished that with my trusty hacksaw. So we've cut down the bracket from, what was this, to this. Took me about mm, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I know it looks a bit rough at the moment. 
but uh, I'm going to start filing this off, smoothing the edges round and see if this bracket fits anywhere near like the template did, the cardboard template. So, time to get the files out. Okay then, moment of truth. That's what I've ended up with. It isn't too pretty, but I think uh, a bit of black paint on that won't look too bad. I need to make another mounting hole in there to bolt it to um, the back of the battery case. Won't take too long. Looks okay. It's very strong, been made of steel. Moment of truth, let's see if it fits in. Okay, that's looking okay. There we go. It's uh, sitting central there. And I just need to screw it or bolt it through that piece of plastic by drilling some holes. And yeah. Right, so here's the finished bracket. Um, sprayed it with a bit of matte black paint. Uh, mainly just to stop it from rusting from where I've been filing it down, even though it was kind of um, nickel plated, I think. Um, it's a bit rough and ready but once it's fitted under here you're not really going to see it and hopefully it'll just do its job so what I need to do first is to mark where I'm going to drill the back of the uh, battery mount there so I know it's roughly about there make sure that's straight looks straight enough get my trusty bridle just mark where the hole's going to go and then carefully try it without moving and do the bottom one. I have to be too careful about that one because the hole's that big, it's going to give me a bit of leeway. And the drill. The three mil bit, so put me M3 screws in. Okay, so I've got some uh, little cap screws. Um, make sure I put a washer, certainly for the inside, because I don't want it pulling through the plastic. So I'm just going to put that through the hole. That's the first one. And the second one. See if I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Put the bracket on. So I'm not sure if I particularly need to, but I'm going to put a washer on the top and the bottom again. And a nylock. Hopefully that should do. Uh, Stop the vibration and doing it. Because this hole's a bit bigger at the bottom that was already in the bracket, that's how it came. I need a washer on that one for sure, so. So if I can do these up finger tight. Okay, nice and tight now, that isn't going anywhere, so let's see if it fits. A twig's appeared <laughs> from out the car somewhere. Ah, I won't be needing these nasty springs anymore. Might as well take those out. You see this? Oh, I can't hand this one. Take that out later, just check it first.
the moment is truth. Okay. Well, it looks like it's holding all right in the centre there. It certainly doesn't move up and down anymore. Okay, so there's the finished bracket in place. I don't think that's going anywhere. And uh, I've screwed these mounts back on so it's all solid. So just to see if it's made a difference. The suspension you can see is working okay. Still moves freely up and down. But if I push the bottom of the transmission there, it doesn't move at all up or down. Let's just see, do we still get the side to side movement? I think we can say that that's a success. So I'll put it back together and we'll just have a quick run of it to uh, view of it running at the end okay thanks for watching okay then so just to show you the difference this is the standard setup with the, uh, the transmission that moves up and down which is supposed to be, give us the sideways movement like that which it does but also it gives us that movement if I'll just show you now got a battery connected up if I just hang on to it and give it a little bit of power that's what we're getting and that's what we're trying to get rid of when we accelerate it moves up when you decelerate or brake it moves back down again okay let's do the modified one okay so this is the one that I've just fitted with my homemade uh, brace for the, the back of the transmission there and we'll do the same test same conditions I'll just hang on to the back give the motor a bit of a squirt Ooh. No, whatever I do there, it's definitely not moving. We've got no slap up and down. Suspension's still working, and we've still got the side-to-side -side travel. I think we can call that a success.